And this will undoubtedly be the highest that it's ever been held. This is the Alert Ready Emergency Alert System. Event type is Civil Emergency. This message is being broadcasted by the Canadian government at the request of the Vancouver Police Department in regard to mass looting and rioting ongoing in Vancouver. All residents of the City of Vancouver are advised to stay indoors at this time. Lock all doors and windows. Violent groups of rioters were seen participating in several dangerous and illegal activities that include breaking into and looting businesses and homes, flipping and igniting civilian and police vehicles, resisting police, assaulting bystanders, and throwing small explosives. Do not participate in any looting or violence. Doing so will result in severe criminal prosecution, hefty fines, and jail time. The safety of the citizens of Vancouver are our top priority. All rioters are ordered to disperse and go home immediately. Refusal will result in use of extreme force. You will be arrested and face extreme legal consequences. If violent behavior continues, a curfew will be implemented. Your violent behavior is unnecessary and childish, and risking the health of innocent Canadian citizens is unacceptable and will not be tolerated. If a violent individual enters your home or business, you are given the right to defend your life and property. Please obey law enforcement and take necessary precautions to keep you and your loved ones safe. Repeat, all residents of the City of Vancouver are advised to stay indoors at this time while law enforcement deals with violent looters within the city. Il est conseillé à tous les résidents de la ville de Vancouver de rester à l'intérieur pour le moment. Verrouillez toutes les portes et fenêtres. Des groupes violents d'émeutiers ont été vus participant à plusieurs activités dangereuses et illégales, notamment l'intrusion, être le pillage d'enterprises, être de maisons, le renversement, être l'incendie, de véhicules civils, être de police, la résistance à la police, l'agression de patients, être le lancement de petits explosifs. Ne participez à aucun pillage ou violence. Ça entraînerait de lourdes poursuites pénales, de lourdes amendes et des peines de prison. Si les comportements violents se poursuivent, un couvre-feu sera mis en place. Si un individu violent entre dans votre maison ou votre entreprise, vous avez le droit de défendre votre vie et vos biens. Veuillez obéir aux forces de l'ordre et prendre les précautions nécessaires pour assurer votre sécurité et celle de vos proches. The independent review highlighted confusion, confusion by the police and city in the planning of the event, and confusion about who was in charge when the evening turned ugly after the game ended. There were significant communication issues. Those issues led to delays in the riot squad suiting up and regaining control of the situation. And there were consumption issues. Police were facing off and outnumbered by an angry, alcohol-fueled crowd. People were boarding the trains and they were arriving in downtown Vancouver at the rate of about 500 people every 80 to 90 seconds. And after a day of boozing where alcohol sales were almost 70% higher than usual, the rowdies had too big a head start for police to catch up. There were other problems too. A broken radio meant 100 officers with a tactical squad never got the order to suit up. And those who did, didn't do it fast enough. And it's not just the city and police who need to do better next time. The authors urge the NHL to step up, saying the league needs to do more to prepare and plan for a safe Stanley Cup celebration. Chris Brown, CBC News, Vancouver.